night. Ugh. It's like, it's six o'clock. It's time to be done with the nine to five, with the grind. It's time for dinner, cooking dinner at the moment. It's time to really focus on you. Yes, I mean you. No, I do not mean your such and such and your such and such and this person and that person. This is your moment. This like time between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., your commute home, that first few minutes that maybe you get this is your time, so this is good. This is a really, really good thing. So I wanted to talk to you guys about how to make the grind so much more bearable. I know you just got home from like the grind of the day if you have a nine to five job. And I wanna talk about like, if you feel kind of miserable and unhappy at work, there's two things that you can do to either re-engage yourself or and make yourself feel more fulfilled at work or step put yourself um face yourself into the right direction guide yourself in the right direction you know while you're you know getting ready to leap to the next lily pad whether that's a new job or whether that's a promotion or whatever whatever that means to you and you know i talk about you know work life a lot that's something that i definitely talk about in my adult like a pro program that i do um, and I wanted to give you two really quick tips while I'm cooking dinner, while I'm getting ready, I'm going to go to um, a architectural movement class at um, my yoga studio down the street at 630, so we're cutting it close here. But um, I wanted to give you two quick tips, because I know that a lot of us, I mean, I've dealt with it, I know you've dealt with it, we have this, you know, this dread when we're at work either before we're getting there, before we go there, when we're there, you know, the after lunch drag, you know, you go through all of these things and there's this mindset piece that is hugely overlooked when we're talking about work. And I'm sure you guys know, I'm gonna flip my chicken, but I'm sure you guys know that it's really, in every part of our life, it's mind over matter, 100%, mind over matter. and for most of us, we chose the job that we're in. We applied for it, we were excited about it when we first got it. Then we became disillusioned, right? And we started to be unhappy with it. We started to feel overwhelmed. We started to feel overworked. We feel like a burnout's coming our way. And that mindset piece is a huge piece. So the first thing that I want to, you know, tell you, as I give you, as a gift to you, as a recommendation, if you feel that work dread, like if you're at work and you're like, ugh, I don't want to do this. I could be doing better things with my time, you know, is reframe your, you know, the thing that you're struggling with. So if you're sitting at your desk, I'm assuming you have a desk job. If you are behind the, you know, the, the uh, checkout counter, whatever it is, and you're thinking like, this is such a horrible spreadsheet. Why do I have to do the spreadsheet again? Why do I have to send this email again? Or why do I have to explain the 100th customer that this item is not on sale, right? That's the thought that you're having. And I wanna challenge you to reframe it. I wanna challenge you to say, oh my gosh, I was so annoyed with this spreadsheet before, but this is an opportunity to streamline the process and I'm really excited because I'm not gonna to have to do this anymore. I want you to reframe the perspective. Oh my gosh, this is the 100th customer. This is the 100th person that I've been able to genuinely connect with. And now this is an opportunity for me to network if you wanna get out of there and see where that opportunity, where that connection might lead you. Or <laughs> your, your, your alarm goes off in the morning. You don't want to go to work. You just don't. You're tired. You stayed up too late watching Netflix. You stayed up too late, late working on your own stuff. You're thinking, oh, I'm so tired. Shift it. Reframe it. Right? Reframe it. You know what? I'm excited to get this day started because first of all, you could do that. I can't wait to get work over with. But I would, I would advise against that. Um, I'm excited to transform my job into something that's fulfilling. I'm excited to really have an impact in this position and, and use it as a stepping stone to get me to where I want to go next. So instead of saying like, I'm stuck here, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, say, okay, I might feel stuck, but this is a stepping stone that is necessary to get me to the next place. So reframing whatever that negative thought is. Um, I like to call it, if it's something that triggers my anxiety, I like to call it an anchor thought. So if I'm really anxious 
um, that I have this meeting, I always dread this meeting, I hate working with this specific person, whatever it is, I think of an, I prepare an anchor thought ahead of time. And I imagine that the meeting went well, is going well, and like, we, you know, the anchor thought would maybe be like, we got up from the meeting and we shook hands and we were really glad that we connected and we, we had this great conversation. And you go into the meeting with that anchor thought and it completely reframes and shifts the way that you go in and the energy that you bring. Because I'm sure you've heard me talk about it. If you're vibrating down here, if you've got that negative energy, if you've got that fence up, you've got that wall up already, the other person in the room senses that. So always reframing and coming in with a positive and open mindset is going to make you feel more excited about your work, but it's also going to help you have better interactions with everyone else that you're working with. And the second thing is, is if you cannot, absolutely cannot, cannot, cannot find a way to reframe it. I know there are some things that you're just like, I can't. I just, this thing pisses me off so much. I literally cannot reframe this. That's when you take and put into effect the five second rule. And so um, the five second rule is a rule that was developed by Mel Robbins. And if you haven't read her book, The Five Second Rule, you should definitely do that. Um, it just came out a couple months ago. And what happens is if you can't reframe that thought, if you can't reframe that activity to be more positive, to be more exciting, to be that stepping stone to get you where you want to go, you do the five second rule. Okay, I really don't want to feel, I really don't feel like doing this, sending this email. I really don't feel like doing this Excel spreadsheet. I know I should because I don't want to lose my job. I know I should because it could help me get the promotion that ultimately I want. Then it's five, four, three, two, one, switch. So if you're on Facebook, five, four, three, two, one, physically move and switch. And it's this idea of launching. You're launching yourself into action. You're launching yourself into positive action. You can even launch yourself into the reframing mindset. So if you're like fighting yourself and you're going down this negative spiral, five, four, three, two, one, positive anchor thoughts. Five, four, three, two, one. We're shaking hands. I'm excited. I'm so glad we had this meeting. So I just wanted to share those with you. I've got to actually eat my dinner before architectural movement. It's going to be fun. It's like a lot of intuitive dancing and um, connecting with yourself and your body. Um, but I wanted to share those with you because I know that there's a lot of you out there that are struggling with the day job, struggling with what's paying the bills. It's just not feeling fulfilling. And if you can really implement the reframe mindset and the five, four, three, two, one, the five second rule, then you can really shift the amount of fulfillment and happiness that you have in the workplace, but also you can create it, you know, you can use it as a stepping stone to get you to actually where you want to be. Um, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love spending time with you. And um, if you don't know, I'm doing a workshop um, next Tuesday here in Philly called Feeling Salty. It's my signature workshop through APOP Studios. Um, and what we do is we basically go through, you know, what is your past experience? What do you want to create for yourself? And how can you create the future? Like, how can we make it less scary? How can we make it more fun? How can we make adulting fun? And um, I do that through stream of consciousness writing and then a moving meditation technique that has literally never been taught by anyone else anywhere. Um, so it's a really, really cool workshop. The tickets are very, very decently priced because I want you to be there. Um, and so if you want to go to apopstudios.com slash feeling salty, I've got the link in the description. I would love to see you there. And if you go, if you buy a ticket, you can bring us, uh, you can bring a friend for free. So we cap out at 15 spots. There are only a few spots left, but I want you to know that if you buy one, you can bring somebody. So it could be like a date night or a girl's night, whatever you want it to be. I would love to see you there. Um, details are in the description. All right. Love you.